Hey, this is Max Spiller with Maddox Transformer, here with another Transformer Tech Tip for you. Now, the traditional type of bushing is called Live Front, and it looks something like this. Uh, now, it's called Live Front because the place that the terminal is actually made is live. It's exposed, right? So there's actually electricity flowing through this. Uh, you don't want to get close to this because arc flash is a concern. Uh, you certainly don't want to touch it, right? You'd get electrocuted. So this is a Live Front bushing. That's what that kind of terminal looks like. Um, the components in this bushing are the spade, which is the actual place that the termination is made. And then there's actual bushing, which is made out of usually porcelain or epoxy. These little ridges are called waffles. And what those prevent is something called creep, right? So with arcing, you're concerned about electricity going through the air to ground, right? With creep, you're concerned about a little tiny arc traveling across a surface. There's maybe some water or dust or oil or something that it's creeping along, right? That's why it's called creep. Uh, so what the waffles do is they allow us to get a ton of surface area in a short space, right? If you were to expand out all the surface area, it'd be huge, right? And that's as much clearance as you need to prevent the creep, but it's compacted into these waffles, right? So that's what that is. And then of course, uh, you've got the stud coming off the back. This would be the transformer tank wall, and this is all under oil at this point. And it's terminated using a mechanical lug like this, uh, or a crimp lug, but same basic thing. That bolts on there, and then you stick your cable up there, and you tighten that little hex nut. Live front. Now these days, most transformers, well not most, maybe two out of every three transformers uh, come with dead front bushings. It does the same thing, but it uses a fully insulated bushing. This transformer right here is a good example. It's a loop feed, uh, dead front transformer. Uh, the benefit here is that you can open the cabinet and there's much less risk of arc flash, right? Because it's a fully insulated connection. Uh, these are made out of rubber, right? So the termination, instead of using a mechanical lug or a crimp lug like that, is, used, uh, is done using a elbow. You terminate your cable to the elbow, and then you plug your elbow into the dead front bushing. Now this is actually an arrestor, but it kind of looks like a transformer elbow, so it works. Again, this is fully insulated. You plug and play. Uh, these are called load break elbows because you can actually break the load on them if you have to, right? Sometimes the utility will do that. It'll be plugged in, utility will get their hot stick, yank on this thing right here, and break the load to turn the transformer off. So that's dead front versus live front bushings.